Welcome back, everybody. Hope everybody's had a good week. Lots of closures of observatories and whatnot. Now, we've all learned what flares are, I hope. What we want to look for are the dark sides. Um, two things I've been seeing a lot in the skies, shadows, planets. <laughs> in order to see a shadow, it takes two things, a light source and something for the shadow to cast on. Because without something for the cast on, it's just your, you know, like night sky, you know, you can put anything in front of a light in front of the night sky and all you're going to see is nothing. Now in space, consider yourself on the smaller planet there, the moon. Same with this one. You're going to see a crescent illumination. Great big one. Kind of like that one. Crescent illumination with dark side. Dark side. Great big circle out there light breaking around a certain point. Illumination, dark side. Dark side, see these stripes even? They're also here on this. Now this is from yesterday or actually from the day before now. <laughs> this is a full day's view You can see the darkness up there. The light's only coming down and around. As the sun gets up and over, you'll see probably why they've been closing down all the observatories. The sun went behind something. See how everything got dark? And then we got a, a, an immediate halo effect. Now as the sun gets closer to the edge again, you'll start to see it popping out around the side there and also casting shadow from what it's popping out around like that and then this is the only point where you get to see the whole thing illuminated once the sun is down and below where it actually illuminates everything there all right on to the footage as we see the sky is pretty clear and yet we still have a lot of shadow lines up there remember what i said about shadows the sky. There must be something there to show the shadows. Now, as the sun comes up, you're going to see some pretty strange shit. The sun being cut off, casting shadow in the middle of the sky. You can see it's definitely going up and around something that's there. That's a tough one because the light's just kind of weird. <laughs> but as you can see, there's a lot of clouds up in the sky that aren't really getting the illumination that they should. It's a pinch of light coming around the edge of something. Also, this is from last night. Again, with the shadows. This is looking east at sunset. You know, there's more than one thing up there, obviously, because look at all the shadows that are being cast across the entire sky. And again, there must be something there, otherwise we wouldn't have the shadows dancing across the atmosphere of our own planet. And even in this one, I mean, look at that. That is crazy where all the light is going and then not going. Then you have this big orange streak that comes rolling through. Let's back up and look at that again. Look at that, how it just rolls right in. Right in between everything. Like we caught a facial of something in between two other things that all we were seeing were dark side of. Now I'm sure everybody knows dark clouds are only down low enough to be dark. Uh, anything that's way up there, showing right there, is a shadow, a body. There are no dark clouds in upper atmosphere. The only thing in upper atmosphere are ice crystals and really thin clouds. Clouds that don't create big dark circles in the sky. 
but then people would remember that if they remembered we only have one layer of clouds really at a time you either have thunderstorms or you have you know serious clouds that are you know telling you it's going to be a fair day but we, what we don't have is clouds like that way 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 up see these are our clouds down below the small fluffy ones going by everything else not even close to the atmosphere I think that was proven the other day when I uh, with the moon coming out of the cast shadow in a clear blue sky I mean look at how the lights reacting I mean our clouds are coming this way whatever is going on up there is going that way lights coming out all down below and when the sun is behind something you have to imagine that it's going to come out from below and above kind of like it's doing now you see the light going around things like it's two different skies all together let's take another view because I mean look at our clouds they're nice and white and fluffy and you know then you got this great big dark ominous thing way up in the atmosphere well that can't be a cloud because we don't get dark clouds way up in the atmosphere not like that that means they're full of water and ready to rain that is way too high to be full of water and ready to rain it is a casting shadow see how the lights coming out from both sides of it something there also again light going down and around things you know being cut off by sky only illuminating once the sun is low enough to actually illuminate everything because then it's no longer behind something it's below everything here it is going behind it something else see all the casting shadows across the sky remember there has to be something there to cast the shadow on see there's those streaks that were going across the sky and the other piece of footage and look there's the moon actually that wasn't the moon that was probably either Venus or Saturn more than likely Saturn and here we have the Sun coming down around something large enough to create a cast shadow beyond the brightest part that's going on right there see how the lights going down and under it's also illuminating something there on the far left whereas the Sun goes down way to the right that was another body it's also illuminating the body that's above because the, the Sun is still hitting what's above and reflecting the light otherwise we wouldn't have still light coming from behind the clouds after the Sun is set I mean how much sense does that make also a lot of people have been posting the two objects in front of SDL try to remember everybody SDL is parked about 20 something thousand miles behind the earth and as the earth goes by from left to right as it orbits the Sun counterclockwise our moon also is orbiting us counterclockwise at a much faster rate now while the camera doesn't catch the Sun or the moon going by when it's on this side behind the planet earth because the moon is actually behind the camera as well it's 300,000 miles behind us whereas the camera is only 26,000 or something like that now the only other time the camera is going to catch the moon going by is when it's going by the front of the planet which would make sense because we saw one object go from left to right and then another object go from right to left that other object was our moon going by the front of the planet and past the camera you see what I'm saying so don't get it you know they make videos about this every other year getting everybody all hyped up and whatnot it's not the first time this has happened it's not going to be the last that camera is always going to catch the earth going by 
left to right and the moon always going by right to left. That's just the way it is. Alright, back to this footage. So much light. I mean, look at it. I mean, it's just wrapping around something right there. You can see the cast shadow on the far right. As the sun gets lower, the cast shadow gets deeper. See? If that were a storm, it'd be lower and it'd be raining. Now it's all gone. And all you have left is that great big darkness blocking light. See how it's finally illuminating once the sun gets below? And here we have another great example of the light coming out all around something in the middle there. I mean, you can just see it moving across the screen. <laughs> As the light comes down around the side of it, it may even illuminate it. As we saw at the beginning of the video, I got a really good picture of it. See the lights coming down around that area? See how it's all dark right now? Now it's going to illuminate a little bit. Now we're going to get good illumination. See that? See how it's just all sitting right there? It ain't going nowhere. It was just right there, you know? <laughs> and here we have another shot from the same location that I showed you in the beginning. From today, you can see how the clouds are coming in from a shadow. You can see them just disappearing into the shadow. More clouds just streaming we have this great big light going down and under and this doesn't illuminate until the sun is low enough to actually illuminate it all right well that looks like about all the time we have today uh thanks for watching please share have a great day everybody